Hello KLS crew and welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video. In this video we will be looking at the week 4 challenges for season 8. Before we start, please note that obviously my voice is a robotic voice that was sampled from a text to speech software, so please excuse any mispronunciations. Let's start by looking at an overview of the challenges before we go into the details. There are 3 challenges you can do if you don't have the paid battle pass. The first challenge of those three is a stage challenge and is all worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you're at tier 100. The first stage for the first challenge is, land at tilted towers. It is worth 1 bat star or 100 XP. The second stage is, land at junk junction and is worth 1 battle star or 100 XP. The third stage is, land at retail row and is worth 1 battle star or 100 XP. The fourth stage is, land at Happy Hamlet and is worth 1 battle star or 100 XP. The final stage is, land at Pleasant Park and is worth 1 battle star or 100 XP. The second challenge is, use the baller in different matches and is also worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you're at tier 100. The third challenge of the free battle pass is, get an elimination with a scoped weapon and a suppressed weapon and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you're at tier 100. The next 4 challenges are only for people that bought the paid battle pass. The fourth challenge is, launch yourself through structures with a pirate cannon and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you're at tier 100. The fifth challenge is, search buried treasure and is also worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP. The sixth challenge is, eliminate opponents at Happy Hamlet or Pleasant Park and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. The final challenge this week is another stage challenge and is also all worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. The first stage is, outlast 60 opponents in a single match. It is worth 3 battle stars or 300 XP. And that's it for week 4 so let's look at the details and show you the easiest and fastest way to complete them. You can also now put a challenge as your party assist so if you struggle with one, set it as your party assist and you can complete it with friends who are in your lobby. The first stage for the first challenge is, land at tilted towers. The second stage is, land at junk junction. The third stage is, land at retail row. The fourth stage is, land at Happy Hamlet. And the final stage is, land at Pleasant Park. This challenge is quite easy. Just jump out the battle bus when it passes over the location you need and land on any building and you should get this challenge done. The second challenge is, use the baller in 5 different matches. This map shows the locations of where the baller vehicle could spawn. Simply go over to these locations and if they are there, just enter it, and if they're not there, just go to the nearest locations. The third challenge is, get an elimination with a scoped weapon and a suppressed weapon. For this challenge, you can only use the following. Gray, green and blue suppressed submachine gun. Purple and gold suppressed assault rifle. Blue and purple suppressed pistol. Purple and gold heavy sniper rifle. Purple and gold suppressed sniper rifle. Green and blue scoped assault rifle. Purple and gold thermal scoped assault rifle. Purple and gold scoped revolver. If you find a suppressed sniper rifle and get a kill with it, it could count towards both of the kills, so this might be the best weapon to find. If you don't find it, the scoped assault rifle will be quite easy for the scoped weapon and the suppressed submachine gun will be very easy for the suppressed weapon. Also, Team Rumble or any RESP awning LTM is good for this as if you get killed, you can try again very easily.
The fourth challenge is, launch yourself through 25 structures with a pirate cannon. You can easily find a pirate cannon at the pirate camps. You could go to the pirate ship near Lazy Lagoon as there are multiple cannons downstairs. Just get in it and keep launching your slough into the ship until you destroy it. Aim down at the ground just so you can do most damage. The fifth challenge is, search to buried treasure. To do this, you have to find the buried treasure item. Lazy Lagoon is a good place to try and find a buried treasure because when you do find one, you can use volcano vents or vehicles to quickly get around to the area that you need to go to. When you find a buried treasure, you should see a gold marker on the map somewhere. Just follow this until you find a big X on the map. Once you're at the X on the map, just dig it with your pickaxe and search the chest and it should count to this challenge. The sixth challenge is, eliminate three opponents at Happy Hamlet or Pleasant Park. Depending on where the bus goes, Pleasant Park will most likely be more popular to get more kills however it does make it so you have a higher chance of getting killed as well so if you keep getting killed, Happy Hamlet might be a better place to go. The final challenge for this week is another stage and the first stage of that challenge is, outlast 60 opponents in a single match. Due to an error with this challenge, we are not 100% sure of the second and final stage but they are most likely more outlast opponents challenges. Fortnite are working on a fix for this and when they do, check the pinned comment on the video and we will let you know what the other stages are. If you complete all of that, and all the previous weeks before this, you can unlock a secret banner to collect and use on your Fortnite banner. The location of this banner is on the volcano. If you collect that, it will help you get the discovery outfit. And that it is for week 4 challenges for Fortnite Battle Royale. We hoped you enjoyed and if you did, leave a like and subscribe for weekly challenge guides and more videos coming soon. Also do feel free to leave a comment and we will read it. If you want to be in one of our videos, check the description on how to do it. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Bye.